Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa hitch bike rack and how it fits on our 2022 Toyota Tacoma. The Sherpa is a two bike platform style bike rack capable of supporting two bikes up to 40 pounds a piece. It's going to hold on to them primarily with this front wheel hook here, as well as one additional strap down at the bottom. So if you want to mix and match, use this with your carbon frame, alternative frame bikes, you can. There's no frame contact, so there's not going to be any damage there, and it should accommodate those aggressive alternative frame bikes too. The first thing we'll show off is the tilt function, so it does have the ability to tilt away with the bikes loaded up. You have to pull this handle, which isn't in my favorite spot, honestly, just because if you have another bike in front, I can see that being a little bit difficult to get to. But for now, we'll pull it. It tilts pretty aggressively, but it's still not enough for us to get complete tailgate access. We can open it up comes to about here or so before it's inevitably going to make contact with either the pedal or some part of the bike. So we do get to be able to get behind it though and we can grab anything out of the back that we can reach from here. So it's not terrible but again you can't close it down all the way and we can tilt it back up just lifting from the bottom. You'll hear it click in place and now we can work on getting the bike removed. Starting with this button down here to release our back strap, just press that in, pull the strap through. Then we come up to that front wheel hook here. It's a really large button on the top. Just hold on to the frame of your bike, press that button, pull it up and out of the way, and we can get our bike removed. With our bike off, we can put this wheel hook away. Just condense that down a little bit and we can put the strap back away and we can point out the fact that this back cradle does pivot to accommodate wheelbases of up to 47 inches. This cradle here in the front supports a maximum tire width of three inches and it can also be folded down when not in use to save a little bit of space. Right here on the tray, you can see that there is this lock core. Cable lock is included. It's not integrated onto the rack, but you can get it around the frame of your bike and then connects right there. From here we can get a couple of measurements to see what it's like to add this on to the back of your vehicle. So as far as how much distance we're adding on to the back from the bumper to the furthest point out, it's going to be just under 33 inches. So it sticks out a fair bit from the back in this folded down position. Ground clearance, we got a pretty good rise and the Tacoma sits pretty high up. So that's going to be about 26 inches. Not anything I'm going to be concerned with as far as going up hills or up curbs. If we want to though, we can save a little bit of that space, just pull that lever again, and we can fold the rack up towards our bumper. We'll click in place again, and now we'll get that new measurement to see how much space we saved. So now, from the bumper to the furthest point out, it's going to be closer to 14 and a half inches, so we save over half the distance that we added to the back of the vehicle in this way, and it's just really condensed. It doesn't cover up a ton on the back of the vehicle. We have our license plate down there in the middle. It's gonna be pretty much fully blocked from straight on, but there are definitely angles from the top, bottom, and from the sides where you can see that. We have our backup camera right here. Again, kind of the same thing. There's gonna be windows where you can see it, but it's kind of right in front of where the rack sits, so you're definitely gonna know that the rack is there. It doesn't interfere at all with our taillights though, and it doesn't come high enough up that it gets over our tailgate. The rack uses a two inch shank that fits into our two inch receiver. It's held in place by this pin and the lock that's going to be key to like to that cable lock core we talked about earlier. It's all secured by this anti-rattle knob right here in the front. So it's tool free, it's really easy to install. You just turn this to take all the shake out of the rack. Overall, the Sherpa is a good option for you if you want that Kuat look, but you want it at a nice value price. With it, we do have a compact design. It's tool free to install, which is nice. It tilts away, which is usually pretty helpful. In this case, it doesn't get us full bed access, but it's nice that it's an option. That being said, if you do like this rack, I would suggest maybe taking a look at the Rocky Mounts monorail. You get 20 pounds more weight capacity per bike. You get a five inch tire width right off the bat. And it might be a little bit wider, but overall it's a very similar build quality and ease of installation is about the same. So you can check that out. But again, if you do like that Kuat finish and the overall features that this rack brings, it's still a really good choice. This again was just a quick look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 and how it fits on our 2022 Toyota Tacoma. 
Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.